the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4 versus the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 and what are the differences and whether it is worth upgrading from the Z Flip 3 to the Z Flip 4 or not. Hey peeps, what's up Munchie here, back with another video and we have over here the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 and this one over here is the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4. Now if you've been wondering what is the difference between the Z Flip 3 and the Z Flip 4 and whether you should upgrade from the Z Flip 3 to the Z Flip 4 or not then you have landed on the right video. The video of course is divided into chapters, links can be found in the description of this video. So without any further delay let us get down to business, cover the various aspects of differences between the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 and the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4 and that should help you make an educated decision whether you should upgrade from the Z Flip 3 to the Z Flip 4 or not. Let us start off with the build changes. So this here is the Z Flip 4, this here is the Z Flip 3. You are going to notice that the camera bump on the Z Flip 4 is more than that it was on the Z Flip 3. Then the same applies for your LED flash as well. You can see that the LED flash on the Z Flip 4 is smaller. Then with respect to your back panel or the back you will notice that the frame here has gone down a little bit and this whole panel is bigger on the z flip 4 as compared to that of the z flip 3 next up if you have a look at the sides the sides on the z flip 3 are roundish and that on the z flip 4 are squarish me personally i prefer the rounded feel but to each his own then with respect to your speaker grill the speaker grill on the z flip 4 is thinner and longer and also on the inside the hinge has some minor changes as well on the z flip 4 you will notice that there is a little bit of change if you look at it super closely same thing applies on the outside the hinge on the z flip 4 is a bit smaller as compared to that of the z flip 3 when it comes to the width but again you have to look super closely and then with respect to your water and dust resistance now none of these devices are dust resistant which means if you go to the beach you cannot enjoy your z flip 4 or the z flip Three. However, with respect to the size, the Z Flip 4 is a tad bit shorter and less wider. And by a tad bit, I mean like less than a millimeter, which means that the bezels on the Z Flip 4 are reduced in size as compared to that on the Z Flip 3. But the display here is exactly the same 6.7 inches and with respect to your thickness both of these devices are exactly the same thickness as well and last but not the least you have gorilla glass victus plus on the z flip 4 on the back and on your cover screen on the z flip 3 you only have gorilla glass victus so you do get the plus upgrade for gorilla glass victus on your z flip four and the flip four is heavier than the flip three by a mere four grams let us talk about the hardware so the flip four has snapdragon 8 plus gen 1 and the flip three has snapdragon triple 8 ufs 3.1 storage on both of these devices internal storage starts at 128 gb for both no micro sd card no headphone jack on either of these devices and the stereo speakers on both of them are exactly the same and the same can be said for your vibration and haptics 
So the major difference over here is that the Z Flip 4 has a better processor because it was released later than the Z Flip 3 and of course the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 is more battery efficient than the Snapdragon 888 which means you can expect better battery backup on the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4. Moving over to the display now. The display on both of these devices is exactly the same. You have a 6.7 inch dynamic AMOLED panel which can go up to 120 hertz. The advantage which the Flip 4 has is that this can go down to 1 hertz. This one over here, the Flip 3 can go down to 40 hertz. Now the fact that it can go down to 1 hertz on the Flip 4 means that you will get better battery backup that is about it other than that me personally i always felt that the colors on the flip 3 display are much brighter so here it is you can see somehow for my eyes the red hair on the flip 3 is more prominent than the red hair on the z flip 4 and if i go into settings and display main screen Maximum brightness on both, adaptive brightness is turned off, motion smoothness is adaptive, eye comfort is turned off, screen mode is vivid and if you look at the white balance exactly the same. If I go into advanced here it is your RGBs. So that might be a personal thing with me but I do feel that the display on the Flip 3 might have been calibrated better as compared to that on the Z Flip four next thing we can talk about is the cover screen now the cover screen on both of these devices is exactly the same the only difference is in some features so on the z flip 4 you have some additional quick setting tiles which are not present on the z flip 3 other than that to access your notifications you have to swipe right on both of these devices and if you swipe left you can access your widgets the z flip 4 has some additional widgets as well but i'm pretty sure down the line samsung is going to add these features to the z flip 3 as well so nothing like a major deal breaker because you still cannot have custom widgets on your cover screen and neither can you change the quick setting tiles like you cannot have quick other quick setting tiles you have to use the ones which samsung has predetermined and these are the only ones which you have available for the z flip 4 and of course if you want to know more about the cover screen on the z flip 4 we do have videos for those which can be found in the description of this video moving over to the battery the z flip 3 from samsung had a 3300 milliamp hour battery and that was a weak point for this device the z flip 4 on the other hand has a 3700 milliamp hour battery that along with the fact that you have snapdragon 8 plus gen 1 on the z flip 4 and the display can go down to 1 hertz when it is not being used or it is static gives this phone the edge over the z flip 3 and initial tests have shown that you can get around 6 hours of sot on the z flip 4 whereas on the z flip 3 you would get around four four and a half hours so there is definitely some improvement with respect to the battery and the same thing applies for the charging speeds as well the z flip 3 would max out at 15 watt wire charging 10 watt wireless charging the z flip 4 can do 25 watt wire charging 15 watt wireless charging and can go from 0 to 50 in 30 minutes of course you do have to use an appropriate charger with respect to your reverse wireless charging both of them are capped at 4.5 watts moving over to the cameras now both the flip 4 and the flip 3 have the same cameras the only difference is that the main sensor on the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4 is 1.8 microns that on the Flip 3 is 1.4 microns how does that affect you well all that means is that the Z Flip 4 is going to perform a tad bit better in low light photography as compared to the Z Flip 3 
that is it that is all about it the megapixels on the front the back the wide angle are exactly the same and the picture quality is also comparable there isn't much of a step up from the flip 3 to the flip 4 just that the flip 4 will have better low light pictures next thing we can talk about is the software so the samsung galaxy z flip 3 launched with android 11 however it has gotten the android 12 update and the z flip 3 is going to get three years of os updates so it launched with android 11 you will get till android 14 and you will get four years of security patches with the z flip 4 samsung has decided to up their game and they have said that the z flip 4 will get four os updates which means for a device launching with android 12 you will get till android 16 and you will get five years of security patches for the z flip 4 other than that the software is almost identical with a few small differences here and there so what is the final take on whether you should upgrade from the z flip 3 to the z flip 4 or not well there are only three reasons for which you should update to the Z Flip 4. One is better battery backup on the Z Flip 4 and better screen on time. Next up, you will have better low light performance on the Z Flip 4 as compared to the Z Flip 3. And then you will also have longer software support on the Z Flip 4 as compared to the Z Flip 3. But what makes it even better was the crazy deals now if you were to stay in the united states if you pre-ordered the z flip 4 you could actually trade in your z flip 3 and get 900 us dollars in credit which makes it like super crazy because the z flip 4 you could get the 256 gb for say 100 us dollars after trading in your samsung galaxy z flip Three. So that was like a no-brainer wherein for $100 you're getting the latest Z Flip 4. But other than that, if those three things do not matter to you, that is the battery backup, the better low light pictures and better software support, then if I were you, I would stay with the Z Flip 3 for now and save my money for the Z Flip 5. And there it is peeps that was a comparison video telling you about the differences between the z flip 3 and the z flip 4 and whether you should upgrade from the samsung galaxy z flip 3 to the samsung galaxy z flip 4 or not and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you